Hi, I'm Mike Hines. I'm the Science Department Chair here at Downers Grove North High School. This is my eighth year at Downers Grove North High School and my 28th year teaching science overall. Today we're going to continue a lesson that we started yesterday. Uh, the actual term is called intermolecular forces. So we'll be doing liquid nitrogen demonstrations, dry ice, uh, carbon dioxide. We were doing experiments while looking at like London dispersion forces. So that's with something, we're looking at how like weak bonds are between um, certain gases. Basically, Mr. Hind was showing us how gases looked at a liquid form, so nitrogen, methane, oxygen, it was really cool. This truly is today uh, one of those that is, is the highlight of for me, um, just because I will tell them that they're going to see something today uh, that 0.000000000% of all the populations ever walk the face of the earth is going to see what they see today. We, uh, we froze oxygen, so we got liquid oxygen, and then he did this weird experiment and he threw fire on the floor. It was really spooky. He like dumped fire all over the floor and it was really cool. I don't know, I thought it was really cool and I talked about it for the rest of the day. I don't really quite understand it yet, but we'll get into that later. Nothing truly shocks them, uh, it does intrigue them, and so they really do ask those questions and, and, and uh, really want to dive into it so that they understand it at a, a deeper level. If you're just doing like packets and stuff, it kind of gets boring and kind of confusing sometimes, but when you're, when you're actually doing it, it's pretty fun. A lot of people use the phrase, think like a scientist. I'm trying to get the idea out there that um, you may not be able to think like a scientist. I might not be able to play basketball like Michael Jordan, but all of us have the ability to think scientifically. You're going to be a problem solver your whole life, whether you want to be or choose to be or not. Um, that's really what life is about, is about navigating who we are, the interactions, but we try to get them to be as uh, creative problem solvers as possible. Mr. Hines is a really enthusiastic teacher. He brings a lot of energy to the class and just there's always just a lot of excitement around every day. He is amazing. It's like uh, one of my best classes and it's a great way to start the day with your teacher doing really creative experiments all the time. The, the kids that have those science minds and those, that curiosity um, are the ones that just they enjoy being here every day. Uh, curiosity is an innate human uh, trait that we have and we just try to tap into that and it's my joy to teach this 50 minutes every day. I look forward to this class every day.